So you were informed that you would be going shortly before your eviction. Who told you what was happening, and how did you react considering that you were willing to go up as a pawn for Jag just a week after he told you that he had not only won the Invisible HOH, but had also targeted you? So Jag is the one that told me that I was going to go up as a pawn. Um, you know, I had an instant gut reaction to this. Um, and I had a small feeling that I was going to end up being the target. So going into the veto, I treated it like a do or die situation. Um, I died, but <laughs> I, I had a feeling you know, I was put as a target the week before. I had a feeling I definitely could be the target, especially next to America this week. Over the past couple of weeks, you were told by Cameron and America about how Jag and Matt would eventually betray you. You chose not only to not believe them, but you also took that information to Jag and Matt themselves. How do you look back on what you were told and how you approach that? Yeah, I think in the past couple of weeks or... The one thing that I wish I did differently now looking back is I wish I kept Corey. I think he would have been a bigger shield um, than America, obviously. But, you know, um, during the week that Corey got evicted, that was my number one goal. So personally, it did a lot for me to be able to take out Corey, who has been my target for weeks under a week where I was a target, then was able to take myself off with the veto. So it was a bittersweet moment for me, but, you know, ultimately I have no regrets. You were incredibly focused on getting rid of Corey and America after he put you up during Jared's eviction when you told him that you would use the veto on Jared. What made you want to target them so much for weeks to come? And do you feel that contributed to your eviction this week? So I wanted to take out Corey and America because I've noticed the game that they're playing. You know, they were lying to a lot of people. They were uh, making people do their dirty work for them. So for weeks, I was playing seeds in people's heads, um, basically trying to tell them that this is the game that they're playing. Um, I think ultimately, I don't think it really backfired on me per se. I think that in itself is a whole nother question. Um, but that's ultimately why I went after Corey in America because I knew eventually Corey was gonna come after me, especially knowing how hard I was going after him. Finally, let's hear your rapid fire thoughts on each of the remaining house guests, starting with America. America, she's a diva, the diva, diva of them all. Bowie Jane. Bowie Jane. Who? Sari. Sari is definitely a fighter. A true fighter. Felicia. Felicia, my girl. She is wild, out of pocket, crazy, but in the best way possible. Jag. Jag. Ass and boring. And finally, Matt. A simp. Matt is full down bad simp. 